guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss an upload so for today's video I have a very exciting one and this is my beauty empties I know you guys love watching these videos and I love filming them and I like to put one out every few months or so after I accumulate a bunch of empty products so I'm really excited because I have a bunch in this bag here this definitely isn't the biggest empties that I've done but I definitely have a lot of products that I've used up and I'm really excited to get into them with you guys so without further ado let's just hop right on into the video all right guys so number one in my bag is this olay body wash this is the olay fresh outlast notes of calendula and mango it's their b3 complex body wash i love the olay body washes that are like specifically in this bottle i also love the pump ones but these ones are amazing and this one smelled so so good so sweet and fruity and just literally so refreshing i absolutely love this body wash because the lather is so beautiful my mom also used this body wash with me like she loves this we both finished this up and i would 100% repurchase this. Next up, we have a shower gel. This is the Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Shower Gel. I know they don't sell these shower gels that often at Victoria's Secret. I think they're like limited edition, but I was able to get them about two years ago during like the holiday time, and I did get this set and a few others. I think I gave away the other ones, but I did still have this one that I had to finish up. I love the Bare Vanilla scent from Bath & Body Works, and I love their shower gels because they smell really good, and I will say that the scent actually lasts on your skin from the shower gel, so layering this with like their lotion and fragrance mist was amazing but it wasn't moisturizing at all but I did really like it the only thing that I think is like the bottle it's cute but it was hard to get like product out of especially when I got closer to the bottom it's just not practical it's really hard to squeeze the bottle and it just doesn't come out easily also like the top kept breaking so that's one thing that I would say that they could fix if they do bring the shower gels back or if they have them back I don't love the packaging next up we have a mega babe deodorant this is the smoothie duo fruit enzyme daily deodorant I love mega babe deodorants I would 100% repurchase them every time the only thing is is that I go through them faster than any other deodorant there is like the littlest bit left but every time I go to use it, it just scratches my armpits because it's like so hard to get it out um so we're gonna be done with this but this one smells so good and like I said would 100% repurchase but I go through these fast I go through them faster than my native and my secret ones my dove ones like these I just go through like crazy so but I love them and I definitely recommend if you are aluminum free or use natural deodorant this is a great brand next up we have my probiotics I take the garden of life women's daily probiotics with 40 billion cfus i love these probiotics i swear by them i've been using them for years and i swear every time i switch brands like if i happen to switch brands i swear like my body just doesn't feel the same so it's so important to me to like keep repurchasing this brand it is not cheap but it is so worth the money and it's definitely like my favorite probiotic that i've ever taken next up we have this scalp scrub this is the pink clay scalp scrub from keratin i did do a brand deal with them a while back and i love their hair products this scalp scrub was amazing and I did go through it but I will say that the packaging on this wasn't great either at one point product just stopped coming out of the top so I had to start opening it like this to even get product out um maybe I just have bad luck with packaging guys but that's one thing I'll say about this but I overall really liked the scalp scrub and I want to purchase another scalp scrub I actually want to try one I think it's the L'Oreal one or the Way one so I'm gonna look into those and try them out and let you guys know what I think next up we have a skincare product this is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Bill Okay, Scissor, are you haunting me? Oh my god, I kid you guys not, I was playing the new SZA album on my laptop before and I closed, I paused it, closed my laptop and everything, and it just started playing with my laptop shut. That's so weird. Okay, moving on, we have a moisturizing body wash from Bath & Body Works. This is in the scent Rose & Lavender. It's from their Sleep Aromatherapy Collection. I love the, the moisturizing body washes from Bath & Body Works. This one in specific smells so good. I loved using it at nighttime. It is such a relaxing scent, and I would definitely repurchase this scent, and I would definitely repurchase the moisturizing body washes from Bath & Body Works. Next, we have another Bath & Body Works product. This is actually a mini, and it is the Mini Gingham Body Cream. Love this. I used it at the gym, went through it. Gingham is just such a classic amazing fresh scent that I will forever repurchase next up we have a tree hut scrub this is the tree hut candied lemon scrub this was probably my favorite tree hut scrub that they've dropped in like so long the scent is just so amazing and like fresh and fruity and I loved this scrub which is why I went through it so fast it just smelled so so good it was like fresh like lemony like amazing so definitely recommend this 10 out of 10 I would repurchase next we have a pair of exploiting gloves these had to go I just switched them out for a new pair I love 
love me a pair of exfoliating gloves for the downstairs area. I use these with either like a sensitive like unscented soap or I'll use the unscented scrub from European Wax Center on these and it just gives me like a little extra scrub and I love them so much I will forever repurchase these whenever I do empties videos I get so much dust in my face from all of, like the stuff it's gross next we have vitamins these are the CVS health women's daily multivitamin nothing exciting um I don't know if I'll repurchase. I actually read somewhere that multivitamins aren't necessary, especially because I take multiple other vitamins. So I gotta look into that more. Not me throwing my anxiety meds in here. Girl, why? 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 I didn't even mean to put that in there. So anyways, moving on. We got the OGX Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt Scrub and Wash. There's like a little bit left at the top. To be honest, I don't love this. I probably would never repurchase. I just had to like get through it. I don't like the scent. The scent like smells like like sour and it kind of reminds me of sweat and I'm not a fan. But I do like the OGX body washes in general, but I would not repurchase the scent. Next, oh my God, low key. I'm in a predicament because this just reminded me I never bought more wax. And I have to wax my armpits like tomorrow. Great, we'll figure that out. This is the Ital Wax, their hot film wax. Got this on Amazon. I love this wax. It is the best wax I've ever used. It was recommended to me by a girl on TikTok and literally I love it. I'll forever repurchase it. It is so good. It is not cheap, but it's worth it. And honestly, I'm done buying cheap wax because I'm not trying to rip my skin off. Like I, I spent a buck on wax and I forever will at this point. So I love this and I would definitely repurchase. I need to go purchase a new one on Amazon. But in the meantime, I'm probably gonna have to get some from Ulta or something because I have to wax my armpits in the next few days. Next, we have another tree scrub. This is Sugared Fantasy. I love this scent so much. I went through it. I've had it for a little while now and wow, I really cleaned it up. Can't I'm kind of so smart. It just was such a good scent. I liked it a lot. I don't really like have much to say, but I love me a tree head scrub. You guys know the deal. Next we have an empty shower gel from Bath and Body Works. This is the raspberry tangerine scent. Oh, baby. baby, I'm filming. You look good. Look. Am I, uh, am I on YouTube? Yeah, but I'm filming a sit down video. Can I say hi to YouTube? Sure. Hi, you too. You're glowing. Thank you, thank you. He's so cute. Anyways, finished Raspberry Tangerine Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. Love, love, love this scent. It's so refreshing and just like such a good morning scent, if that makes sense. Like, just wakes me up in the morning. Love it. Super fruity, bubbly, fresh. Y'all love the drop. Next, we have another Bath & Body Works product. This is a body cream in the scent Fairy Tale. I love this scent so, so much. It smells so expensive, rich, sexy. I'm obsessed with it. And their body creams are just top tier. Like, I don't know, but I go through them fast, which is weird because like I feel like I go through the body creams faster than the lotions, which like usually it's the other way around, but love this so much. And I'm glad I still have the fragrance mist and the moisturizing body wash. Next we have another probiotic. This is the same brand, Garden of Life, but these are the feminine pH daily care probiotics rather than like the regular women's probiotic. I feel like they work the same for me. This brand is literally amazing, as I said. I don't know. I think I just picked these up because they were the only ones there. So yeah. Next, we have a hair product. This is the Lysetta Castor and Hemp Oil Shampoo. I love Lysetta's hair products. They actually sent me their shampoo and conditioner, and I would love to get more. Like, I need to get on that because their shampoo and conditioner were amazing. I definitely, like, went through the conditioner a lot faster than the shampoo, as I usually do. But I really liked them. They were great for dry hair. They really gave my hair a lot of moisture, and I was definitely a fan. Next, we have a shave cream. This is the Gillette Venus with... Olay moisturizing shower shave. You can't really find these anywhere anymore, I don't think. This is the Freesha scent. I've had it forever. It's really good. I honestly am kind of sad because I can never find them, but I would definitely repurchase if I ever found it again. Next, we have some more vitamins. These are B12. I take B12 every single day, every morning. They help with energy so, so, so much, and I will forever take them. Like, I'm never gonna stop, so I will, of course, repurchase. I literally just get the Nature's Made brand at, like, Target or Walmart or Amazon. <laughs> Next, we have a Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in the Colloidal Oatmeal and Calendula oil scent. I love this. It's super gentle. So when I know that I'm kind of having like more sensitive skin one day, I'll go for this. And it definitely gives me a good scrub while also being really gentle and sensitive on my skin. And luckily I have another one of these, so I don't need to repurchase, but I really like it and I would repurchase. Next we have the e.l.f. brush shampoo. I love this brush cleaner so much. I've been trying to be better about cleaning my makeup brushes, even though I'm not. Um, I need to like do it maybe this weekend for my trip, but I love this brush shampoo from e.l.f. It's really good. Next, I have a few of my empty little mini row fades. My dermatologist knows I struggle with like some rosacea here and there, which is like basically redness on my skin. So she gave me these samples of this thing row fade. So I have like a bunch of these. Um, I don't really feel like it makes a difference. So I need to go to her again and tell her so maybe she can like prescribe me something that is a little bit stronger. Next, we have this face primer. This 
is the YC Collection Let Me First Primer. I got it in an Ipsy bag. Um, it's like okay. I don't really notice anything crazy with my makeup when I use this. It's cool. Next, we have the CeraVe Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I love this cleansing balm. It is so gentle and sensitive, especially like around the eyes, which I tend to find that a lot of makeup cleansing balms tend to like make my eyes blurry or hurt my eyes. This is actually really good. I don't feel like it does that. And I would definitely repurchase. I actually have another one that they sent me, so I'm excited to zig back into that one. Next, we have another body scrub. This is the Victoria's Secret Lavender and Vanilla Relax Body Scrub. I love Victoria's Secret's body scrubs. I think that they are so, so good, and they give me such a good scrub. Like, they're probably one of my favorite body scrubs, and I love this scent so much. It's so relaxing, and of course, my camera's gonna die soon, so let's speed through this. We have another tree hat scrub. This is the Pear and Chia Seed. This scent is discontinued, so yeah, but it's really good, and I like it. I wish they still had it in stock. It's cute because they have little chia seeds inside of it, and I feel like that just gives you, like, such an extra better scrub. And then last but not least, we have a body cream from Bath & Body Works. This is the Rose & Lavender Sleep Moisturizing Body Cream. I finished the body wash too. Love the scent, love the body cream, and I would definitely repurchase. So I think this might actually be the shortest empties video I've ever done. The bag is completely empty. I probably could have waited a little longer, but I didn't want to make this video too long. You know, it's Vlogmas, guys. Like, I can't make these videos too long because I have to edit every single day. Also, I always link everything down below in the description, all of the finished products, so make sure to always go check that out. If there's something that's not linked, it's usually because it's discontinued, I can't find it online, something like that. So everything else is usually linked, especially like the stuff that's like from Target, Ulta, Walmart, like it's all usually linked. Bath and Body Works is sometimes hard because they change like their inventory a lot and Tree Hut sometimes, you know, products go out of stock or discontinued. So whatever I actually like can find is always linked down below. So make sure to always check the description, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Definitely stay tuned for more empties videos because I collect them every single time I finish a product, I throw it in here. I finish bar soaps a lot too, but there's no way of me like really saving that. I always forget to save the boxes. So there was definitely some bar soaps I finished in there too, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.